Mark Selby brought the Crucible to its feet after becoming the first man to make a maximum in the World Championship final. The four-time champion cupped his ear to the crowd and led a Mexican wave as he completed his historic 1-4-7 in the penultimate frame of the first day of his final with Luca Bresil, which he trails 9-8. Selby's sensational feat comes 40 years after Cliff Thorburn's famous first maximum at the Crucible, and it is the second 1-4-7 of this year's tournament after Karen Wilson notched one against Ryan Day in the first round. It was an extraordinary effort from Selby, especially as he had begun this final just 12 hours after completing his marathon semi-final win over Mark Allen. The second seed lost the first three frames against Bresil on Sunday and was 6-2 down after the afternoon session. But having also fallen 9-5 behind in the evening, he clawed his way back. Selby's maximum made it 9-7 and he stuck his tongue out after potting the final pink, before punching the air as he sunk the black, then hugging Bresil and referee Brendan Moore officiating in his last ever match. The 39-year-old then composed himself to win the final frame of the night and he will go into Monday's action as the favorite to claim his fifth Crucible crown. He would become just the fourth player in the Crucible era to win five or more world after Stephen Hendry, Ronnie O'Sullivan, and Steve Davis. The atmosphere when I potted that final black was electric, said Selby who is the 10th player to hit a 147 at the Crucible and will now share the 55,000 bonus on offer with Wilson. It was good to give the crowd some banter back. I wasn't thinking about the maximum until I got to 72. I just wanted to win the frame to get back into the match. That red with the rest on 72 was where it could have gone wrong. But after I potted that, I felt like I was going to clear up. He would be just the fourth non-British winner in the modern era, after Canada's Thorburn, Ireland's Ken Doherty and Australia's Neil Robertson.